So PS Plus Cloud Streaming is amazing on the RG Ally, Ally X, or indeed any Windows gaming handhelds, as it doesn't require us to even own a PS5 console. And it's this PS Plus Cloud Streaming feature that's been the buzz of the internet this week, with it just being added to the PlayStation Portal. And it only took Sony one full year. Wow, great job, Sony. Here's how to set it up into six easy steps, I'll look at some of the key games out of the hundreds that are included, and we'll also test out how good or bad the visual quality and lag is on a few games too. So for step one, let's head to playstation.com and make sure we're on the premium tier, as cloud streaming isn't available on the extra or essential tiers. And the reason I'm doing this tutorial right now is because at the time of recording, there is 30% off PS Plus subscriptions with it being Black Friday season. I renewed my annual PS Plus Premium subscription yesterday for just £80 instead of £120. Bargain! Next for step 2 and still in the PS Plus area of the website, let's click on Getting Started, scroll all the way down past the Membership Plan, what you need and also new to PS Plus Premium Sections 2 and the PS Plus on PC areas right here. So let's click on the Download the PC app. Choose where we want to save it, which in my case is the downloads folder. The current version at the time of recording is 12.3.0 and hit save to download the PC app. For step three, let's head to where we installed it, which in my case is the downloads folder. Double click on the .exe file, click on the setup wizard, agree to the terms, select install location, which I'm just going to leave it as the default program files and click next. I'm going to just leave these ticked and then click next. Click install. We may need to click yes for the app to make changes. It will take about 30 seconds to install, then just hit finish and it will launch into the app. So now we're up and running in the app. For step four, let's hit the sign in blue button on the top right. We may get this pop up, so click allow. Enter our PlayStation email and password here. And the first time for me didn't sign in for some reason. So if this happens, just click sign in again. Enter our login details again and it successfully signed me in this second time. For step five, there are two essential things that we need to do in order to use our allies onboard controls. The first is to click this display and controller icon here. This is crucial, I can't state this enough. It will come up with a message saying that we're now on controller and huge thanks to PSVG Donny, who highlighted this in my old PS Plus streaming tutorial. My new viewers to the channel are the smartest. Thanks so much PSVG. The second is to open command center and to make sure our control mode is not desktop or auto but to gamepad. And doing these two things will then enable us to navigate around the app and to use the allies controls for our games, yes! We may also want to make the app full screen by tapping this expand icon here too. And there are some great games we have included here including God of War, Resident Evil 2 and 3, Sackboy, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Days Gone which is so underrated. Ghost of Tsushima, Death Stranding, Guardians of the Galaxy, PS3 games like the classic Ratchet and Clank games, the fantastic Uncharted games and many, many more. And finally, for step 6, let's add the PS Plus streaming app to Army Crate. I'm pressing the Army Crate button, then the top left button, go down to Add Game App to Library, click the LB button on the Ally to bring up File Manager, the default location is in C Drive, then program files in brackets x86, scroll to the PlayStation Plus folder, click on the PS Plus launcher.exe file, it should now be selected so just click done and it's now ready to launch whenever we want to from Army Crate. So let's now test out three games to see how good the visual quality is and also how good or bad the lag is. So let's start with Celeste, that will really test out lag on this. The first time this pops up, so let's click continue, then got it. It's great that it supports cloud saving, and we can copy saved game data from online storage to game streaming storage. Let's make it full screen too. We can get rid of this annoying bar on the top by clicking the window button, then full screen. And yeah, this feels really great to play. There really isn't any noticeable lag, or at least enough to negatively affect our gameplay. It feels pretty fluid, which is a really great sign. To exit out, we can just tap, click close, make sure our game is saved of course, and we're back into the PS Plus game library. And now let's try God of War. I purposefully wanted to test out some combat here, as any lag would make parries and strikes really difficult. But again, here is a really positive first impression. It really does feel great to play, even in intense combat sections, while it all looks really visually stunning too. 
So let's click close, head back into the game library and for the final game let's test out the brilliant Spider-Man Miles Morales. And wow, as soon as this loads up it looks absolutely gorgeous on the Allies crisp 1080p screen running at 60fps. You really wouldn't notice at all that this is purely just streaming and I haven't experienced any dips or dropouts in testing any of these games. Of course this is a cutscene so let's web sling our way around the city and again just wow! Super impressed at how great all of this looks, the clarity is incredible and, and it feels like the game is installed natively which is the highest praise when it comes to cloud streaming. Congratulations! Your Ally X, original Ally or Windows handheld is now fully set up for PS Plus cloud streaming. And if this tutorial helped you then hit like and also drop a comment so the YouTube algorithm can spread this out to many more in our amazing PC handheld gaming community. And if you're one of the almost 95% of regular viewers who aren't subscribed yet, then please do so as it massively helps the channel. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. I don't think people realise how much strength it takes to pull yourself out of a dark place mentally. So if you've done that today or any day, I'm proud of you. So many of us go through deep, dark times in our lives where it feels like everything is falling apart. But if you've made it through this far and are still standing, then, then do not underestimate just how incredible that is. So stay encouraged today, guys. If you want to know all about the update that's completely transformed the PlayStation portal, then click on the top right or the bottom right for a vid that YouTube thinks you'll really like. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.